Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a image slideshow using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got various images, eight in total with a audio clip. And you can have 50, video, 50 images in here, 10 images, how many you like. It could be of your holiday, some business event that you've done and you've taken some photographs. And you want to create a little slideshow maybe to put on your Facebook or your Twitter or LinkedIn profile. Or maybe upload it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro. And we'll go to File, New. And we just make this at 1920 by 1080, 29 frames a second. And let's click Create Project. So here we've got a blank project. And what we'll do is select all of the images and we just drag and drop them into Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Now, as default, when Magic adds the uh, still image, it will create it at seven seconds. And seven seconds is a bit too long. So let's cancel that. We'll press Control and A to select all of the content, all of the images, or you can just left click and drag and select them this way as well. Then we'll right click on the first one, go to Change Photo Length, and we'll set this to five seconds and then click apply to all so that will reduce the size or the duration of each of these images so let's left click to deselect everything and we want to select um, this first one and what I'll do is click in the video editor here or the video player here and I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to zoom out a little bit because so I can see there's black spaces on the side here and this is the image in the middle. So we need to zoom this image a little bit so that it fits the whole of the video um, uh, content, right? Because you're gonna have black sides down there. You don't really want that. So let's click on this clip. Let's go to effects, scroll down and click on size and position. And you can just use the zoom tool just to zoom in a little bit. So we zoom to about 120 and now it's filling out the whole space, right? There's gonna be no black uh, above or below. It's gonna fill the whole video uh, content that's what we want and then you can just drag it with your mouse if you want to drag it up or down if I drag it too high you can see there's black underneath we just want to make sure we position it maybe somewhere like around here we just need to repeat that quickly for all the other video or the uh, still images so let's move to the next one uh, this one's pretty good but we're going to zoom in a little bit anyway just to make sure somewhere around here should be pretty good something like this and then we'll move to the next one this one's already pretty good but we just zoom in a little bit more as well and we'll just drag it to around somewhere like here and we'll go to the next one this one needs to be zoomed in more so let's just use the zoom tool and we'll zoom in like this and a little bit more around 120 that should be good let's move to the next one and we'll zoom that one in as well and that just make sure we don't get any sort of black borders or any sort of, uh, you know, we don't really want that, right? You don't want a big black border around the sides or the top or the bottom. We'll move to the next one. This should be around 120 as well. 120, that should be perfect. And then let's move to the last one. And we'll zoom that one in as well to around 120. Let's go a little bit further on this one. Around here should be good. So we've zoomed in all the images to cover the full video background right to make sure there's no black uh, borders or any black down the left or right or the top or bottom let's select all of these first set of images so just left click and select all of them because we want to add a transition between them so we know that this one ends on five seconds right so when I start to drag I'll see this little timeline above the first clip uh, it's a little bit hard to show but if I move my mouse here you can see it right here and it says five seconds so I want to drag this across where it says uh, four seconds, four now, right? So that'd be a one second transition because I've overlapped them. <coughs> so if I move the timeline across, you'll see the crossfade now like this. Let's zoom in a little bit more. We'll select these clips here, these four, and we'll drag this. If you zoom in, it's a little bit easier to move across. So we're on nine seconds. When you drag it across to eight seconds, then we'll just hold down the control key and click on this um, image here. And that will deselect it. Then we can just select the, these three are selecting that. So we can just drag these three. So we're on 13. We're going to move to 12. And then just hold down the control key. Left click. Drag this one. We're on 17. We're going to be on a 16. Let's move it to 16 here. And then just hold down the control key. Click here. And then finally we're on 21. So we want to be on 20. When we drag across to 20 here. Now we've got this nice little crossfade across each of the image. 
and we want to add a little transition it will be nice right so let's go to templates let's go to shape basic you've got all these different transitions I'm going to use these two here so I want to alternate them so I drag this one first let's just left click outside we'll drag this one onto the transition here then we take this one and drag it to the second one here and then we'll take this one and drag it to the third one we're just going to alternate them like this so let's click around here and click play and now you can see the transition <coughs> between these um, different video clips or image images should I say All right so it looks quite nice and you could add some titles in here about what each image is it could have been a Christmas event at your work or family event or just an event that you've attended and you just want to make a little um, picture sort of slideshow but add a bit of you know some some nice effects to it to make it a bit more interesting so normally I would fade in the beginning so let's just do it like a one second fade around here something like this uh, around here and it will go to the end this we've actually left one out right so let's drag this one here so that's on 25 let's drag it over to 24 and we'll I think the last one was from left so it's going from left to right so that means we need to use this one here we'll drag it here and then we'll have that transition going the other way and I think we're about done I think we increased the size of that last image let's just double check yeah we zoomed into that one as well so let's just fade this out towards the end let's just finish this off we'll fade that out let's just go to the beginning and check let's click play and that fades in nicely let's go to the end and we'll click play and it fades out nicely right so we're almost done you can add 50 different images 10 different images you know how to change the the um the duration of each image quite quickly so when you drag and drop 20 images in here select them all right click and change the uh just just right select them all remember and you just right click and change the photo length so you can set them to four seconds five seconds ten seconds whichever you want make that decision first and then just overlap them i haven't found a quick way to overlap quite rapidly so if anyone knows that it'll be quite interesting to find if there's a quick way to add that transition overlap quickly i'm not sure how to do that um so let's finish this off we'll go back to the folder let's drag and drop the audio clip this is the audio and let's just move towards the end and we'll move towards the end of this video clip click on the audio let's cut it and then we can delete that we will then right click on here go to set volume and set it to minus 12 db so the volume is not too loud and then we we'll drag this so that it fades out maybe about halfway somewhere around here we want to still see the image right so about halfway on this image it will start to uh, fade out the audio and in fact we can probably fade out a bit longer let's fade it out from here like where this last thing will start to fade out the audio here and we'll go to the beginning and we'll fade it in let's just fade that in cancel this let's drag this back here and then we'll click here just to fade it in something like this let's go back and we'll click play and just see Okay, so that all seems to work well. So that's how you go about adding a little slide slow transition for some images uh, to create this sort of uh, image sequence. You know, you can use this to showcase your work even. So if you're a graphic designer and you want to showcase your work, this is maybe a nice way to showcase it. You can upload it to YouTube. At least it will have a bit of movement in it rather than just still images or just some basic crossfade. And you can go and experiment with all of these different um, transitions. You don't have to use the one that I've used. Um, there's some other nice ones in here right so just go and experiment with them there's loads in here and these are just one set of them you've got other types of transitions as well you can use things like door you can drag that here and then it will sort of do this sort of transition right so you can go and experiment with them i'll leave you to do that that's how i go about creating a little image slideshow using magic's movie edit pro i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial